So I wanted to do a commentary of one of my vlogs. And this seems like a good one. This is when John Ross, he is 14 years old. And it's that was the day before I was picking him up, dropping off the other two kids and picking him up. And so he said, let's go to Game Exchange or GameStop. So this is the day before his birthday. He's 13, fixed to be 14. And he's looking through the comics. Now, when I'm filming this, what I'm actually doing is recording and then I'll pause the recording and then unpause and pause back and forth so basically a lot of times that footage was uh, already edited it would be a few seconds then a few more seconds and then all I do is add music in it and, and mute it now on this portion one of the things that I did was do crop cuts uh, basically where I took the action and did not remove a lot of it did not cut through and like jump to the next portion it would just be uh, do zoom cuts where I cut the, the, the track zoom in to a closer spot and then at another point uh, crop back out to full that would kind of break up the monotony a little bit now there was a few moments here that I did jump ahead just a little bit to speed the action up but the biggest part of it was John. all in that now in this particular cut hey, um, I actually said his name four times hey. and uh, I kind of thought when I edited it that uh, it was too much I didn't want him to look like he just totally never listened even though I'm telling you right now the truth that he doesn't really you know it takes a lot to get his attention uh, now, with my phone, I can go from one side of the camera to the other, back and forth. So that's what I did. I just, like, changed it from this view to, to my view, back and forth. Now, this is the next morning, and actually, he's laying against my chest, and it's just me and him, and we're laying there, and he's asleep. He don't want to wake up. He's very comfortable with me but I finally get him up and we go to church and we have a good little service and Rebecca goes to church on her own vehicle and decides to ride with us now I guess sometimes she forgets I'm recording because when I say this it's a mess oh my gosh oh I got it I look toe up I meant to say toe up and she's giving me a hard time about it. As you see, I get these placement shots. You saw where I had a, the eye hop and I panned over. And I didn't get a lot there just while we eat. And that was it. And on to the gym. And here at the gym, I just captured a few things. And it's sometimes hard to film in public with people around. But sometimes you just got to get used to it practice doing it to where you uh, don't worry about what people think the more you do it the more you don't care yeah. yeah I look kind of silly here but John's doing a really good job of holding the camera steady as I explain this process and he does alright I think me and him are both maybe crouched down a little bit too far but it was pretty good. And that is one of the most awkward things to try to film is yourself laying down or like where it doesn't look like you're actually holding the camera. Now, this is a whole new day and I'm just getting an established shot of what's going on. What We're fixing to see what, what day it is. You know, it's that talking head moment in a vlog. Like a summer program where they have a lot of fun and things and she don't feel good so I'm coming to pick up the younger two so I can take them to the summer school. So here I am picking them up just like I said and she's acting funny all of a sudden that I'm filming but I always film her when I can. Nathan is like so so tired. Now, 
it's the next day and literally I knew that I was going to be seeing my girlfriend and it really is true here that I'm telling everyone I don't know if I'm going to take a, a pictures or videos because it's a new thing us dating and I'm not sure what she'll be used to yet I'm trying to break in the vlogging mode so these were some videos and some just photographs and she did real well with me of course there's shots like this where I'm behind her that she might not even really realize I'm filming till she watches the vlog back but like here I'm standing beside her and she actually seen me uh, film and raises the camera now this shot she was beside me and I was starting to film and I don't know that she even noticed me filming because she had stopped to take this picture Now, I went back and I took this shot right there, not that one, but the first one of my feet the next day. It's something where I was by myself and I had the time to take all this footage, all the footage that's in the background that is now black and white. I went and took that footage and lots of other footage, uh, B-roll footage, the next day I went back and walked the same trip and travel that we made so that I can get extra footage that I wasn't able to get. Now, if you're on a vacation in a location that you're never going to be able to go back to, it's a little bit more challenging because you kind of have to like get those shots on the day. Now, one other option, is if it's a tourist city, you can look up before you go uh, maybe footage that other people have got and use some of their footage like in your vlog. I did that when I went to SeaWorld and took different shots of other people's footage and put it in my vlog. But uh, it is very challenging and I wound up using all this footage just as background to that music video. Now, I really love this mural painting water on the wall. It is so gorgeous of all those horses. But that was in the moment with her. Uh, she was standing right there, and I cut to this, which was all in the day. That was all when she was with me. But this footage here is the day after me walking by myself. All of this is because I wanted to get this shot of us walking and I never got it in the moment. So I get to this point where we had walked up to this thrift store and I get a shot. I never even go in the building this second day. I just get the shot, me walking up and touching the, the door and actually cut it right at that moment. All to the photos that I did take on the day, the day before with her. These are real photos photos that I took that day and uh, I love to keep photos that are still in motion and uh, let them be zooming and panning now this is a picture that Allen Park picture of the day after just as an establishing location shot and all of this footage and photos you're seeing here was taken on the day with her there the only thing I went to Allen Park the second day was just to get that one photo. And technically, now that I have it, I can use it anytime I want as an establishing shot. Now, that was an establishing shot that I took the day after, and so was this, uh, where I did a real quick speed walk with speeding up the camera and that is me and her on the day I actually had her she she was standing up and we'd been sitting there for a while and i told her hey sit back down here and uh got that shot now this is a shot real close up and all those those were all done the next day now that shot was on the day but those close-up shots uh the day after i'm by myself so i can get in places i normally wouldn't get to now I had thought that my phone was recording when she was looking through that and somehow it wasn't so 
that of me looking through was the next day uh, trying to just establish that we went up there and was looking through it and did not capture any of this footage on the day but we did walk this path just like I'm doing and just wanted to capture those moments so in my memory I can say yes we did that together but it's really hard sometimes vlogging when you're holding someone's hand and you're hope putting your arm around them or you're stopping and kissing or or just hugging and it's hard with the other free hand to try to vlog let's add a film crew follow me around but I'm not that well off with money right now so but I did love that I got this ending shot here where I walk out into this big open area that has like no trees and was able to get this aerial shot that ends this vlog with this a mu amazing sky view right here thank you guys for watching and listening to this commentary and leave a comment below if you think I should do more of these commentary vlogs thanks for watching god bless